Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial series. I know that the title of this video have already spoiled what we are going to be doing today. So I'm gonna, just gonna straight away get into this. And what we have is the original hospital build made by EA uh, Maxis. And it is what the get to work expansion pack came with. Ever since, however, you've been able to open up your sh uh, cheat box, put BB and enable free build cheat on, which means that now we can go into build mode. And for my own style, I'm gonna get rid of the grid. I'm gonna give us a little bit more light and be like, what, what just happened? That's a weird light. Well, it is what we have. Apparently we are in spring or something because the tree is a little bit more taller. Now we are in the build mode and we can take a look at the hospital that the game has given us. So we can see that the loading screen, that after loading screen you always end up on this side of the hospital. However, if and when you are going to be edit this one and or make new by your own hand, remember that the gallery wants to pull it onto this side. So this is going to be your front side. Let me show you, like so, saved a lot, Willow Creek Hospital. And you can see that this is indeed the front that he wants to show you. Not actually the loading side, but this side. So you need to remember to start building it from the wrong side, so to speak. Now we can go and take a look what we actually have here. We have a regular modern looking hospital build, but or I guess mid-century style and we have a second floor here which is interesting which they haven't used uh, then we can see the already no known and familiar floor plan of the hospital that we have been using all these years now now what I recommend of you is to take a look at all the items that you will need while you are building your own hospital, if you want to do it so, of course. You do not have to make all yourself or a new one or whatever, you can just renovate this one as you wish. But I have personally built a couple of new hospitals for my games and I absolutely love building these, they're so calming. You can do so much and different, you, can, you could even make it into a little like um, a village hospital, just a little clinic, just a couple of beds and that's it. Like you, the game doesn't really care. It just throws you three patients when you first time load in. So you could consider just putting a couple of beds and be done with. But what I recommend indeed is to take a look at what the hospital actually needs. It needs a reception area. It needs these uh treadmills it will need these x-ray machines it will need a chemical analyzer it will need few beds and it, of course it will need this surgery table where all of our sims are giving birth and they get their hearts taken out from their chest and they are getting glue or mayonnaise sprayed into them and whisked inside if if you want to build it were the BB objects on. That you make sure things are not overlapping and they are actually working. And since you are at work, you have to come to this lot with a sim. And I recommend that you are with a sim who works in the hospital so you can try every single item out. So they are actually working. So your sim can actually process in the career that they have chosen or you have chosen for them. So don't just, you know, mash things together and hope that it'll be okay. That is always the danger with the move objects and I can't put pressure on it enough because I have seen so many beautiful builds on the gallery and whatever not, but they're not playable because move objects. Ah, <sighs> it's so infuriating. So what we have now is we have entered the uh, free build mode. What we have to enter next to be able to find everything that we need in this hospital. The treadmills, the surgery tables, the beds, everything. We need to 
include a couple of cheats. First of them being the already known show hidden objects. So this is just a regular debug menu. If you want to use the the shy, uh, show live edit objects, you can add that cheat as well. I don't think there was really items there that you would need for a hospital. So the second, uh, well, third cheat that we need is ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. If I just wrote it right, yes. Ignore gameplay unlocks cheat. There we go. So now we can filter through packs. And this is how I always do it. I always start with the get to work cheat. So I can see that there is the tables that we have gotten used to seeing at the uh, police station. We have the police station um, reception table as well, not just the medical stuff. And there you have different color swatches as well. So you can choose more of a rustic look or maybe more modern, you know, so you can choose as you wish. There's a ton of tables and display things because of retail shops. There's all these uh, filing cabinets. There is the uh, <laughs> UFO stuff here. You can find the, the wormhole generators. You can find photo studio. And then you can find the exam beds that are in the, these. Now keep in mind with these that you will need space at the back of it for uh, whatever reason. I, when I was building my hospital, I did pull them near the wall uh, as close as I could. However, they need to have this side empty. You can't pull them next to each other. So, but they do need to have a little bit space in between so the doctors and your sim can feed them and clean up the beds and whatever. Then we also see the treadmill that was here. Did we see their surgery table? So we have surgery table here as well. And everything is here. So you just need to, you know, go through it slowly and steady to see what you have there. You have all the outdoor signs. You have all these warning pipes. Uh, you just, you know, yet again, be free to use your imagination. You can do whatever crazy... Area 51 or whatever, you know, thing going on. You even could put an in invention constructor in hospital if you so wish. I don't see benefit in it, but you can do that. Always make sure you have at least one of treadmill, one of the x-ray machines, at least one analyzer, two to three exam beds, and at least one surgery table. And so that they're all free range area, so they are not uh, blocked by anything because they do need the space around them to be able to work. The patient has to st step inside it and the doctor has to fit to uh, stand here at the end. We have taken a look at what we need in the build and if we want to use move objects, we have decided that. We, we can add that later on if we so wish. Um, we can now either just bulldoze the slot with this, or we could have just gone straight to gallery if we already had a build that we have done. And I have already done a couple. So I can just pull up whichever I have done. Furnished, yes. And there we go. We load up on the side of this build because that's how I've built it apparently. There's the reception area. Then we have the areas for all the there's waiting room of some sort, family room, I don't know. Research, staff rooms, offices, dining for staff. Everything is here. We are missing nothing. So I have done everything that it needed for a hospital. And now if we go into play mode, everyone who had shoot out of their bed 
are at the front here, but if we speed it up, we can see that they are heading back to their stations, they are heading back to beds. And the reception person is back to work, and our fellow is sitting at the side reading a book. We have our uh, doctor working up in here, as they always do with these, whatever these are. Everything is fine. Everything is working as intended. I am going to exit the main menu. I don't need to save anything because it doesn't matter for my gameplay here. And now we are back with Salim at home. What next we can do with him is that we can evict him from his home. He doesn't have much money as far as I'm aware, so let's go and evict him. Um, let's get a re these two and let's see. He has 16 and a half thousand simoleons. Uh, we want him to move into a new home. We want to move him, let's say we want to move him into Delson Valley. And we would want him to have this grand mansion. Like he's gonna be the superstar surgeon that we can ever imagine. And he's gonna be such a fab, a loved person. Okay? So we don't need to... People would have usually uh, taken a look how much this mansion costs. They would have gone into game and played with Salim and probably written a couple of times uh, mother load or caching or bought through testing cheats, money, something, something. You don't need to do that. We can just literally pull up our little cheat bar here and put free real estate on. There we go. And now the whole world is our oyster. We can choose whatever we want. We can now go into the Chateau Peak, move in, furnished, and it didn't cost us a dime. He still has that 16 and a half thousand. Yes, he does. He didn't lose a dime for moving into this massive, weird, weird, Uh, mansion, manor, place, house. He really doesn't like Anaya or Baco, which is very interesting to me. There's no downstairs, no, I mean, basement there is. There's some situation going on in this house that I don't quite understand. But I am not here to judge. It's just giving me ideas that I need to give it a renovation. But that's how we didn't need to go and write a gazillion of times mother load so we could have afford this. I assume this was like 200k mansion. Does anyone remember the price of it? I don't. And it doesn't matter because so we got the house for free. And for any video you want to do this for, it is possible with the cinematic camera. It's literally just taking a little time to get used to. Like, if you want to show off any build that you have done, you haven't done it on any budget, you can move anything in and you can do this cinematic camera to show it off. No problem. You don't need to worry about the money ever again. Everything is fine. Until the next bills, of course, because they also Valley, very expensive bills. All right. Uh, I don't think there was anything else for me to show up for this time, I still expect you to ask me questions, but I don't know if my expectations are a little high. Uh, thank you for joining me today, and I hope I gave you some ideas or whatever. Uh, you can build now your own hospital, your own police station, or even Area 51. Have fun everyone, and happy simming. See you next time. Bye bye.